Heidi Klum. Now, Heidi, you are a smart business lady, aren't you? Where did you get that from? I don't know if I'm that smart at it. I try as good as I can, you know, and I have made some things happen. Um, What's been your most satisfying business success? Business success? Um, putting Project Runway on the air, definitely one of them. Um, I host Germany's Next Top Model in Germany, and I help produce that show, and I host that show, and I love doing all of that. Um, I love all my different ventures in designing. If it's for Amazon, I have a line that I sell there. Um, my QVC line for, you know, my jewelry mm -hmm. that, I, that I just started bringing out there. I design for P in the Pod and Motherhood for this maternity clothes, which I love. I do shoes with New Balance. I do all the things that I love, and I bring them out. And that is definitely something that I love. I love seeing people in my things, and I love creating things. And A few years ago, you became an American citizen. I have. Specifically, apparently, so you could vote for Barack Obama. I did. Is that true? That's true. Why did you feel so I, keen to do that? I've been here since um, 94. I've been paying quite a few taxes in this, in this uh, country, and I felt that it would be right for me to, you know, vote for the next president. And I really, I don't know, I liked him, and I wanted him to win over the other person. How do you think he's doing? That is a tough question. First of all, you're really into this, uh, and second of all, it's always very tough to talk about politics, don't you think? I mean, there's so many things. If you get me started, I don't stop. And how long is this show? But, I mean, you can't lay it all on one person to make things happen. How did the, the Germans all feel when you, when you became an American? Years. I still am a German as well. Oh, you are? Yes. So you haven't stopped being a German? I have a dual citizenship, which yeah. so do all of our children. What do you think of America? I really like it. I think that people in America are very nice. When I think about people in Germany who can be quite harsh, mm. you know, with everything, just... And in the beginning, it kind of bugged me when I first got here, and people would always be like, how are you? And I'm like, I'm good. But they don't really care. So why do you ask me that question? <laughs> it's kind of this <laughs> shitty chat, and it's very... They never really want to know really deep how you really feel or want to know too much about you. It's always very fluffy and stuff. But that's not always bad, too, I found out afterwards. Well, it's quite, people, it's quite polite, I think. It's polite, and I think also people are quite generous here, and they are happy for you when you're doing well. They say, good job, mm. it's great what you're doing. In Germany, I feel like sometimes it's the opposite. Well, Germany and Britain, I think, can be quite both similar in this way, quite cynical places. Certainly if you are high-profile and successful, a lot of people want to prick your balloons. Exactly, that's what I mean by that. You know, the Germans can be quite harsh and not be as happy for you than they are here in America. But you're one of the most famous Germans ever, aren't you? You're Boris Becker. <laughs> well, there aren't many. There aren't many globally famous Germans. Um, maybe can you think of it? In the modern era, in the last sort of 30, 40 years. In Germany, definitely, yes, but not people that you would know here no. so much, yeah. What's next for the Heidi Plum? incorporated machine? More designing. That's really my passion. I love to design. So I will be doing more of that. You will be hearing and seeing more things. Really? From the things, yeah, that I cook up. But no more children. You've done that. No, we have four children and we're complete now. Like I told you before, we always looked around the table. Is there still someone missing? Yes, there's someone missing. Now there's no one missing anymore. <laughs> it's mayhem 24-7. It really is. Because they're all so young. You know, seven, five, four, and two. It's there's a lot. Has they wanted to, any of them to get into fashion? Would you be wary of that, given the experiences you've had? I would not push them. No, I wouldn't push my kids to do anything. I want them to be happy, healthy, and I want them to be who they want to be, mm. you know? But and I still have a few years to go on that, so let's just see what they want to be. Well, they want to be a rock star like their dad. Yeah, Henry could be. I mean, you definitely see the passion, you know, and Henry loves to dance and loves to perform. Mm. They actually all love to perform. They give us tickets and then they put the chairs up, they put the music up and they start dancing and singing and we all sit there and applaud and they, <laughs> they bow and they do all of that. They all have a little routine going on. Yes, well, I look, forward, I look forward to these kids growing up, actually, because they they're going to look great and be very talented, aren't they? No, they're a lot of fun. They have to. They're good kids. Good genes. They drive me crazy sometimes, but they're good kids. What's your proudest achievement, you personally? Oh, my family, for sure, yeah. A husband, four children, um, 
that is, you know, that is everything. Thing. What are you going to do if you have all the money in the world and all the things that you wanted to achieve in your business and you have no one to share it with? You come home alone at the end of the day, um, and then what? And you go down to a guy who just gets on bended knee and eagles and sings he crazy. Exactly. What more could a woman want? Honey, it's been a pleasure. Or, as I believe they say in Germany, it's war in Wagenmugen, sie so treffen. Meinerseits. Ich fand es super, dass du keinen Schlips an hast heute. Ich fand es super. Wow, you like my eyes. Sehr pleasure.